Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom layout with the Visual Composer Layout Builder. The Layout Builder allows you to create completely custom layouts for posts, pages, and custom post types, as well as archives. During this tutorial, I'll create a layout for posts and explain more along the way. Let me show you the design we're going to create. So this is the layout that I want to create for this today. So we've got a header, uh, the post title, here's the content area, and, and the footer. But this, this is how a post will look by default with the theme that I'm using, which is the Visual Composer Starter theme. This is all default styling, but of course, usually you want to make it your own. So this is where the theme builder comes in. So let's move on to create a completely custom layout. So to access the layout builder, you first have to open the WordPress admin panel, locate Visual Composer, and then here, the theme builder. So if you've never been here before, if you don't have the theme builder, you'll have to download it. You can do it right here from the hub, or if this is the first time, you'll see a screen with a button, so you can do it right here. But I've had it downloaded already, so let's move on to layout. This is where you'll see all of your created layouts, but let's start with a brand new one. First, let's give it a name, say post, post template. And what we can choose here from the drop down is either singular or archive layout. Singular means it's going to be a layout for posts, pages, and custom post types. And the archive layout, of course, is going to be a layout for any archive type pages or category pages. So an important thing about this here, about archive layout, is that it has to have a post grid. But let's move on to the post template. So singular layout is what we'll need. And start building. These are placeholders for now. So what you would do here is start creating your, start creating a header for your post and then a footer. And what you can do here is add, of course, any element of Visual Composer, but we've got a theme builder tab here, which consists of dynamic elements, like the common area or featured image or a post title, which we'll use later on, meaning that once you apply this layout to a post, the post title will change automatically. Same with excerpt and everything else here. Everything is dynamic, so you just have to adjust it once. You can also use global templates, of course. Let's start with the footer because that's the quickest one. Let's just simply add my text here. That's simple and move on to the header. So I want to remove this text block because I want, want it to have a logo and a menu. So we'll do two columns here. Let's add a background image and make it bigger. All right, and let's put it on repeat. Yes, beautiful. And, oh, has to be stretched too. All right, now let's move on to the columns. Here we'll add a single image with the logo. White this time because of the background. And here we'll add a simple menu. Right, let's change it up a bit. Oh, let's do one more thing to the background image here. Let's add a shape divider at the bottom. So let's make it white and 1% and let's change it to this one. All right, and now we want the content area, of course, this is too big of a header. So let's make this content area overlap that background we just made. And we can do that by going here, the edit window of the row and adding a negative margin. As you can see, now the content area jumped right on it, but the text won't be visible here that well, at least when we add content. So let's do another thing and make the background of this 
wine. All right. I like that, but there's one more thing we can do here. And that is, let's add a post title. As I said before, that's going to be needed for posts for sure. Let's just take this and add it here at the top. Okay. So far, so good. Let's save it. As you can see, once you save, you get this notification that this template isn't assigned to anything. You can click here or for future notice, you can assign a layout if you click here on this button. So let's do just that. And here in the theme builder, under theme builder settings, you can choose layout settings. Here you'll see all the templates you can replace with your own custom templates. So like the 404 page, everything else, like pages, posts, but as you remember, we chose posts here. So let's choose our post template that we just created and click on save changes. So a reminder, this is how posts looked by default with the Visual Composer starter theme. So, and to override that, we just created a layout, assigned it to posts, and now all posts are going to have our custom layout right here. So if you change anything in this layout, it will be adjusted for every post as well. Another thing to note, if you want to use the same footer or the same header for multiple layouts, you can create them as a global template here in the Visual Composer settings too. And then just add a global template element and add it anywhere you want. And that's it for the layout builder. You can read more in our help center and I'll leave a link down below. Thank you all for watching and bye.